guys how those <clears throat> so I will show you guys how those look once I make them Hey y'all, good morning. It is Prissy. Welcome back for another day in my life. So today is Wednesday and I'm getting ready to head off to BJ's. I have to do the final leg of the content that I'm supposed to do for them. Now that day I went and recorded the gas content. I could have also recorded this content, but I wasn't feeling good that day. Babe wasn't feeling good. So I just wanted to do that one and get back home. So today I'm going to the store. I'm gonna shop around. It's their new location out by the airport in Jacksonville. So if you haven't checked that location out, go ahead and check it out. I haven't been on the inside myself, but I will be going this morning but let's rewind back to yesterday because i don't think i popped my face really on camera that much but i did record a little bit i went to get my blood work finally i made an appointment at nine o'clock y'all why they see me to 10 and i had to keep asking them like what's what's going on what's the hold up like i have an appointment at nine i'm still sitting in the lobby at 9 45 10 o'clock anyway got the blood work thank god and the lady who did my blood work y'all she was shaking so bad poor thing i feel so sorry for her but it didn't hurt i didn't feel a, even a pinch of her going in to get the blood it's just i felt her hand shaking as she was holding the vials to get the blood i felt that and she said she was nervous because it was two other people in there looking over her i guess they were her supervisors or something i don't know but they was checking over her work girl but you did good erin you did real good then i stopped by a coffee shop y'all i had never been to this coffee shop before and if i don't know about this one i'd have been going to this one over the other one that i'll normally go into to edit this one is called social house and it is black owned i got to meet the owner yesterday he was very nice very accommodating and i just had a really good chill time i think i sat in there maybe three hours and i drank some coffee ate my bagel edited an entire video just really really productive by the way that video will be live today i'll link it right here so you guys can check that out And then I just came back home. I didn't do much when I got home yesterday. I didn't even cook yesterday because we had the leftover beef and broccoli. So we just heated that up for dinner and called it that. Now I do have to cook today, but I don't know what I'm cooking. It's, it'll be some type of chicken meal. I kind of want some chicken breast, maybe like cube chicken breast. I want to cut it up into some type of cube with some sauce. I don't know what how I want to do it yet. But I'll think about that throughout the day as I'm doing other things. I just need to go ahead and buy the chicken breast because I only have chicken tenders. I don't have any breast. That's it. I'm just going to do that content, come back. I'm going to go ahead and do the draft because it's due tomorrow. I want to have it done today. That is the goal because remember last time it was due at 12 and I was working on it at 11 o'clock. I don't want to do that today. 
Oh, and I, I worked on a pair of jeans that I thrifted. I did, um, I like the jeans and they were actually Shein jeans, y'all. But I knew they were gonna fit me just the way I wanted them to fit. Not too tight, not too oversized, but just a cute, relaxed look. And so I knew buying them that the holes in the front were just entirely too big, but I was gonna patch them up. So that's what I did this morning too, because I wanted to wear the jeans. So I went ahead patched them up and now they look really cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thought that I'd be healing now. I didn't think I'd have to feel this now. I thought I would have moved on, but somehow the feeling's still strong. Like I'll be home my way. Y'all, I'm dressed. I'm sitting here at BJ's now. I'm getting ready to head in. Got my little BJ's toe and I am ready to go. I'm gonna record as much as I can for you guys, but you know, I don't wanna have to have my tripod for my phone and my tripod for my camera up. You know how they already be recording people and putting them on TikTok, cause they basically influencers in the wild, which I'm not an influencer, I'm a content creator, okay? Anyway, let's head in and I'll see you guys inside the club. I am in the store. I got my camera set up in the middle of the floor, okay? Well, in the middle of the store, look. So that's what it looks like. And then I recorded myself picking up a bouquet of flowers. These are so pretty. Yeah, I couldn't bring y'all with me in there like that. I mean, y'all was in there with me, but I couldn't. I couldn't maneuver two cameras at once like that. Now, if Babe was with me, I would've got y'all a little more content, so I apologize. I was just trying to get the content that I needed to get for this reel. The content looks really good. I actually ran into Blakely, which is another content creator here in Jacksonville, and she's also working on this campaign. It was nice seeing her and her husband. Now I'm sitting here at Rose. I'm getting ready to head in. I'm gonna grab some chicken breast. I guess that's what I'm gonna get. I don't know what type of meal I wanna make though. I don't know how I wanna cook the chicken. Like I said, I know I wanna cube it up a little bit and maybe pan sear it and do I'm trying to put on my jacket, y'all. Put it in some sauce or something, some type of sauce I make. Kind of craving some type of Asian sauce. So it may go in that. I'm about to look on Pinterest real quick to see if I can get some quick like ideas before I go into the store. That way I'll know what I'm going in here to get. Oh, that creamy garlic chicken looks so good. Oh, the black pepper chicken look good too, but I just had a bunch of rice. That's the thing too, I don't want to put it over rice because I just made rice, so. Trying to see what I can make with the chicken. I don't want mashed potatoes. See, I wanna kinda do the chicken just like this, y'all. Let me pull it up. This is the look I'm going for with my chicken. So the chicken will be something like that. Yummy, right? And then I just need to make something on the side. Kinda like 
maybe sauteed green beans will be good. And the only other thing I could think of is freaking rice. What else would go with that? Oh, she put honey on these. Mm, they look good too, girl. They look good. I don't want to make rice. Baby gonna be like, girl, I done ate rice all week. I'm tired of rice. Let me figure out what I'm gonna make with this chicken, y'all. And I'll see y'all in rows. Y'all, I am out of there. The only thing that I got was the chicken breast. I got that and I also got some turkey wings. I got some Asian sauce, which I've been needing because I used it all up. But yeah, that's all I got. I know, I know. I just left Aldi yesterday and I'm back here again. They got some flatbread in here that I really, really like. So I'm gonna come in here and get that. I decided to make flatbread pizzas tonight. So I will show you guys how those... <clears throat> <clears throat> So I will show you guys how those look once I make them. I'm contemplating if I want to do arugula or if I want to just do spinach. I haven't decided. I already got spinach at home. But if I'm going to do arugula, I need to buy some while I'm in here. Rose didn't have any flatbread or else I would have gotten it out of there. But they didn't have any. So I went ahead and came on to Aldi, y'all. I'm so ready to get back home. It is 4.19. So I've been out for about three hours today. I got out like one o'clock. I didn't leave out too early today. I'm not going to bring you guys in Aldi because I just want to run in, get what I need, and then head back out. So I'll see y'all when we get back to the house. Let's get into the pizza, y'all. So I've already cleaned, cut up, and seasoned my chicken breast. I used salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. I kept it really simple and just pan seared them. I ended up not adding any sauce after all. Then I moved on to cutting up my veggies. I have some jalapeno peppers, purple onion, green bell peppers, and also some spinach and mushrooms. Now for the sauce, I added some heavy cream to the leftover bits of chicken. I added in a little bit of salt, pepper, and some Italian seasoning. I didn't add much to the sauce at all. Now normally I would like it a bit thicker than this, but I didn't have time for it to set up. After I've added my sauce on, I go ahead and add my cheese, which is Colby Jack and sharp cheddar cheese. And then I go ahead and add all of my veggies on top. Babe and I are sharing this pizza, so I'm putting a little more veggies on her side than mine. Finally, I add the chicken, top it with a little bit of leftover cheese, some Italian seasoning and pop it into the oven.
I let it cook in the oven on 350 for about 15 minutes. And once it's done, I go ahead and put it on a cutting board and cut it up into little slices. And when I tell you guys this pizza is so good, I highly recommend you make it. Today is Thursday. Oh my gosh, my voice sounds awful. I'm getting ready to head to the nail salon. Normally I make my appointment for like 12.30 during the day and I've been doing that for like a few years now. And so babe is like, why do you make your appointment so late in the day? Like, why don't you just be her first appointment and go ahead and get it out of the way so you can have your rest of your day and you don't have to, you know, be working, take a break, go back to work. You just get up, go to the nail salon. After that, then you can start work. You know what I mean? So I'm like, you know what? That's a good idea. So I made my appointment for 8.30, y'all. It is 8.18. I need to go ahead and get out the door. It take me like 10 minutes to get there. I'm not too far from my house at all, but I need to go ahead and get out the door. I put my pick in there because I was going to pick my hair, but I ain't even going to pick my hair. I'm so sleepy, and I don't even know why. I do know why I went to bed about 11 last night. I gotta stop looking so mean. It's gonna start. Oh, These cars coming so doggone fast, and they coming, baby. I mean, the bus is running, the bus is coming. Come on, let a turn. Thank you. I don't know what I'm gonna get done to my nails. Oh, they don't open that Eliano's. I don't know what I'm gonna get done to my nails. They just plain. I don't know if I'm gonna get them plain again or if I'm gonna get some designs on them. I kind of like um, keeping them plain because when I be doing my cooking videos, like if I wanna do, throw some old videos in there, y'all really won't know the difference because my nails always be looking like this. Y'all, this was a big mistake. I don't know why I'm here this early. I don't know what's going on. I got grease on my hand last night. I just took my bunnet off. I ain't even picked my hair up or nothing, honey. Daddy put on some clothes. Y'all, I apologize for the bad quality on my camera. I just noticed it's some doggone grease on my camera. Y'all know I cooked that chicken last night. Grease splattered all over my camera while I'm trying to get those angles for y'all. But I'm finna go home, I'm gonna clean it, and I guess I'll check in with y'all later. Oh, these are my nails I want to show y'all real quick. They're just plain. I don't normally be putting that um, oil stuff around me. If she don't put it on there, you have to ask her, you know, let me get some oil. And I be, I don't even be thinking about that. But I got cuticle oil pens at home, so I'll put some on there a little bit later. I need to go home and wash my hands and stuff. You just wash them at the nail salon, but you wanna go home and just wash your hands and stuff again. It's later in the day and I decided to make a salad for lunch. Now these clips were previously recorded because I went ahead and prepped my salad and I wanted to show you guys how I do that. This is a spring mix that I got at Aldi. I added this entire bag and I go through it and pick out the pieces that I don't like. Even though it's a bag salad and it says it's pre-washed, I still go ahead and wash it myself. I just I can't y'all I'd have to wash it again even the spinach everything that comes in the bag I still wash it so I go ahead and pick out the pieces that I don't really like and then I start working on my romaine lettuce it seems like ever so often romaine has a recall on it I'm praying there's no recall on it right now but how I prep my romaine is taking that hard piece out the middle I'm not a big fan of those hard pieces of lettuce now I do like crisp lettuce but I don't like those hard pieces in there if you don't know by now I am a texture person so the texture of certain things kind of turn me off from eating it so I like to prep my salads this way 
I also throw in a little bit of iceberg lettuce and I do the same thing, cut out the hard parts and leave the crispier parts of the lettuce and then just cut those into chunks and add them to the bowl. Once I have all of the lettuce finished, I add some salt to the mix. Now, I got this from a lady named, I think her name is Big T on TikTok. She says she adds salt when cleaning her lettuce. So, I felt like I need to add some salt when cleaning my lettuce too. So, I've been doing this for a while now because I got it from her. And then I add some water, clean the lettuce and spring mix up real good. Pour that water off and then give it a good rinse. Once that is completely done, I add the top and spin it just to get the rest of the water out of the lettuce. If you guys don't have a lettuce or salad crisper, please get you one if you love salads. It comes in handy. It keeps your lettuce so fresh. It dries it out, which is so good so it won't get soggy. You guys need one if you don't have one. Look at all that water that came off. The rest of that salad mix it was just entirely too much and so I put the top back on and do it once again just to make sure all of the water is out and then here is what my salad looks like I have a lot of veggies on the salad I don't have any meat I top it off with some Italian dressing and olive oil 